St George's Hospital is one of the largest teaching hospitals in London. It sees around 600,000 patients every year um, in the catchment area of Wandsworth, Merton and Sutton, but also sees people from further afield in the southeast of England. It is a centre of excellence for cancer, for heart, neurosurgery, uh, neurosciences, and so it is a very, very well-respected hospital. Nothing can replace what's, what's been done for me here. I wouldn't be sitting here today without the skill and help of people at St George's. St George's Hospital Charity is an independent charity. It sits alongside uh, the hospital and works to identify projects which it can fund with charitable donations. The entrance here at St George's was really dull, it was very unwelcoming, it didn't have any curb appeal whatsoever. And when they'd made all the changes and planted everything up, I think the overwhelming thing everybody said was just, wow, this was stunning. We were the first hospital in, in England to invite a large store, such as Marks & Spencer's, to join with us to provide excellent facilities for both patients and staff. People have said to me that when they've arrived at St George's recently, they've felt a sense of reassurance that the treatment they're likely to receive will be world class because they've walked into a very welcoming, world class hospital. This is the simulation laboratory, and this is one of the things that the charity's money is, is helping us to, to do. I'm just going to put this down, I'm just going to have a, a general check with you, is that okay with you? It's a real patient, it may be pink and plastic to, to touch, but it has gaseous exchange. It blinks, it breathes, and it will connect to my anaesthetic machines, to all the other sort of devices that we'd normally find in a clinical environment. The charity really are the, the, the sort of the last lifeline, and without this, the experts can't actually do what they do well. Without the charity, St George's, in my opinion, would not be as successful as it is today. It has its traditional roles of funding medical research and buying equipment, but the other really, really important aspect is improving the environment. And also taking responsibility for introducing art into St George's. And that has, without a doubt, made a significant improvement. And it's really only with that funding that the charity can continue to do that work and to benefit patients, staff and the community. The charity's role is to provide that extra touch that moves something from the satisfactory to the excellent. It helps us to provide many facilities and services that would otherwise not be able to be provided. It's a really good rehab tool for people post-injury to get them back to a good level of function. They can do strengthening exercises, work on their movement, work on their function and get walking and generally that aids a faster recovery post-injury. This area was very dull and uninviting. Now the Dragon Children's Centre is warm and light and inviting, a much nicer environment for people to come. After the changes I thought it was like wonderful. It does really make me feel relaxed and calm. The difference in the unit is absolutely superb. We have a, a, a very bright new unit. It really helps to calm things down and keep things as you'd want it in, a, in an intensive care area. The majority of today's donations to St George's Hospital Charity come from people whose lives have been touched in some way by St George's. For me I can't do enough for the place really, really and truly and I know a lot of my fellow patients feel the same way. We're also helped by legions of fundraisers who raise money on our behalf 
by jumping out of aeroplanes or running the London Marathon. A whole range of activities that individuals take on as challenges for themselves in order to give something back to St George's Hospital. We simply couldn't raise the money that we do without them. I think that the charity for the future has a big role to play. We're looking for 500 new volunteers and supporters to raise a thousand pounds each to be able to provide excellent care and services for the patients that visit St George's. George's is a brighter, cleaner, better, more beautiful place for all the work that the charity's put in. The value uh, that the charity brings um, to not only places like the simulation or the education centre is, is transforming uh, how we work in these large institutions. St George's charity is incredibly important to St George's. I don't think it would be the place it is without it. It's a healing place and it's not just about the laying on of hands or the prescribing of medicine or the making the diagnosis. It's for me also about making an environment for people to get better and to feel better.